Hey, what's up everybody? It's George here and we're back with another video. Now today's video is build video number three in the Goblin 500 series. And today we'll be doing chapter six in the book, which is the rotor head. I've gone ahead and set everything up and have everything ready to start this chapter. Why don't we take a quick look at what I've done. Number one, I have the book open to the right page with all the parts that we're gonna be needing. I have a pen in case I need to take any notes. Of course, my calipers, uh, in case I need to take any measurement. I have some grease. That grease is for the um, thrust bearings and the bearings in the head. And I also have some special grease, which is for the O-rings. I have some Q-tips and some alcohol so I can clean the inside of the feathering shafts, make sure that uh, the Loctite works well. I have my Kindle in case I need to uh, get on the internet and look anything up. I have my blue Loctite and uh, I also have some toothpicks. Sometimes I use a toothpick to put the Loctite on, it's a lot cleaner. I have a microfiber rag, I'll be using that to wipe any grease since I'll be working with grease. I want to make sure that uh, everything is grease free. I have some green Loctite and these are going to be used in the linkage uh, um, and I also have some uh, toothpicks for the green Loctite. And moving on to the tools I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a 1.5 and a 2.0 millimeter driver and also two 4 millimeter hex wrenches. Uh, those are going to be for the head. The parts that I'm going to be using are all laid out, but um, these are not all the parts. Although it looks like the head is assembled, uh, I'm just going to have to disassemble it and take all the thrust bearings out and all the bearings. and. Uh, grease everything up and Loctite it and put it all back together so there's a lot more parts that are going to be involved in this uh, section. And last but not least my magnetic tray to handle all these little parts like those little spacers there so I don't want them rolling all over the bench. Let's go ahead and get this camera on the tripod and start the build. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the links uh, like they suggest. So let's go ahead and get the bench ready and begin the build process.
Okay, there you have it. The head's pretty much assembled. Everything went according to plan, uh, no problems at all. Um, one thing I would definitely say is make sure you pay attention when you're taking the head apart and get the, uh, the bearings lined up correctly and get that put together properly. There's a, a, a narrow side and a thick side. You want to make sure you get the right orientation, but uh, everything feels nice and smooth. It's moving nice and smooth. You can see these are just hanging there by themselves. Um, so that's pretty much it. The next section is going to be the, the tail section. So uh, let's go ahead and set up for the tail section.